This video is about how to use PlayPosit to create interactive videos to enhance the teaching that you're already doing and to extend students' learning within and outside the classroom. This website allows you to create videos with quizzes and other topics embedded into them um, to allow students to work at their own pace. I use it for a few reasons. Um, for in some classes I have time where the students are working through different courses on PlayPosit depending on their um, level of ability within different areas in music, different topics and they can work at their own pace so if one student gets something they can move ahead if another student needs to review that video over and over they're able to do so. I'm also using it to set some extra topics that students can choose to look at often at home um, if they want to deepen their understanding maybe learn an extra part that they can play for music counters in rather than just singing with their class or whatever else it might be at the time um, and you can also use it to get valuable assessment data um, about the students as they're learning. So the first thing you need to do is create an account. Um, you can sign on using Edmodo. I use this and it works fine. For students, I've had problems with students not being able to access their accounts, um, so I've recommended that students create a separate account, perhaps using the same login details as for Edmodo, but as a standalone. First thing you need to do is to create a course for to put your videos into. Uh, so if we scroll down to classrooms, you can add a class. So we'll call it music is cool. That's a music subject. And now I've got a class. And it should should turn up down there. Um, I You can add students to it but the easiest way I find is to have students search for your class either using the teacher's name or the name of the class uh, once they've created their account and they can sign up on their own. You then need to create or find a video for what you want to teach. Uh, the video needs to have a URL and a website address attached to it. Um, you can find it on YouTube. I upload mine to Vimeo um, because that's a convenient place to store them online. You can also use Google Drive or anywhere else on the internet uh, if you want to make your own. Um, you can obviously create a video using an iPad or whatever else you want to do and upload that. Um, the other thing that I've found really handy is screencasting, which is what I'm using now. Um, I'm using a free program called Screencast-O-Matic, which you can download from this website here. It allows me to record everything that's happening on my screen. And I can choose whereabouts on my screen to record. So you'll notice my taskbar at the bottom of the screen down here, I haven't shown because it wasn't relevant to the video. Uh, so if you only want a certain part of your screen showing. That's very easy to do. Once you've got your video, you want to design a video bulb in PlayPosit. You type in the URL or copy it from wherever it is. It thinks we are right write a melody to a couplet is our lesson title and we are learning to write a melody to a couplet. Um, yep, K to 5 is fine, music and art, it's for music and I want to allow the students to rewind during questions to see more of the video. So I'll begin building and I get to see part of my video. Today we're learning to write a melody to a couplet. Then I press add question 
And for this question, I might put a free response. What are our will and tip? And then the students will see the video and before they can watch any more of the video, this question will pop up that they need to answer. Um, and they'll type it in and then later I'll show you how you can see the answers that the students have written. So we'll save that question. The couplet is a very short poem that has only two lines. Let's add another question. Multiple choice. How many lines in a couplet? So I can give the option of one, two. I want some more answers. Three, four. I select the correct answer is two. And I can give some feedback to the students once they've selected. If they say there's only one line, I can say how many people in a couple. If they get the correct answer, what other words sound like couplet and have something to do with the number two. So if the student selects the correct answer, they'll be prompted to think about that. And I can save that the question. The couplet that I'm going to use today is I can write a couplet for us all to see. And this time I might add a reflective pause. So this one will simply pop up and the student needs to think about whatever I've written. Um, so read couplet aloud before you press next. And you'll write your own melody to a different couplet. And then I can press finish, watching the video. finish build once I've had enough. Now the first thing I need to do when I'm writing it seems I also need to avoid pressing the pause button when I press finish build. So the alternative is this save and continue button at the top. So I come down and I want to assign it to music is cool. So I can pick a date, 31st of August. If I also want to give it to the students who are doing rhythm level four in year five and six, I can assign it to them as well. Um, so I'll press save at the top and then it gives me a URL so that I can share it if I want to. If the students are registered with my class, I don't need to do that. Um, but if I want to share this with students who don't already have a PlayPosit account, this will be handy. So I'll copy that. I can come back to my dash and I can do some more. But first, let's have a look at the video. So I will sign out and then I'll paste in that URL that we got before and it wants me to log in which is rather unfair of it. Let's try not requiring students to register. All right. Sign out. And we'll paste in the URL. Which class is this? We are in Music is Cool. So this is what a student would see if they weren't enrolled in your class. That's my name. Today we're learning to write a melody to a couplet. And so I can't watch the rest of the video until I've answered what are our Wilf and Tib. So I'm looking for one note for each syllable. This is because it will help us express ideas using music. Submit. And now I can press continue and see the rest of the video. The couplet 
is a very short poem that has only two lines. How many lines in a couplet? I can't remember, so it's I'll a rewind. a short poem that has only two lines. Ah, it's two. Submit. And there's the feedback that we wrote before. So I'll try and think of some other words with the same root. Continue. The couplet that I'm going to use today is I can write a couplet for us all to sing. So I need to read the couplet before I can press next. I can write a couplet for us all to sing. The computer, of course, doesn't know whether I've done that, but I'll press submit and then it will let me watch the rest of the video. And you'll write your own melody to a different All right, now I'm not going to press pause there because it's next to my video button. Now the first thing I need to do when I... If I log back into Play Pause it as me, me as a teacher, The next thing that I can do is come up here to monitor and I can see how my students did. So I come down to my music is cool class select the video that I'm interested in And I can see one student has completed this. This orange one means the computer can't mark it. Um, but if I click on that, I can see what I wrote. And if I want, I can award myself three points for doing an excellent job. No points if I think I really needed to do better, and so on. And so it's turned it red. If I give it three points, it turns it green. Um, question two. I gave B, the correct answer was B. This one flag I press next and I've got a score of 100%. And I would see a table of all my students here. If you have premium monitoring, you also are able to download a um, spreadsheet that has your students and the overall mark that they got for every video. So you can see a student's progress throughout a course um, and then you need to come back to the website if you want the more detailed data. That's about all with the nuts and bolts. Give it a go. Um, the students find it really engaging and it allows them to work at their own pace rather than having to be held back by others or dragged forward when they're not quite ready. They can go over the details if they need to. Um, and feel free to ask questions.